If you suffer from excess weight or you have trouble losing weight, then pay close attention to this video. Today we're talking about weight gain, but let's be real. Weight gain is a very, very difficult problem to conquer because there's different parts to it. But today I'm going to explain to you one of the most important parts. And if you pay attention today, you're going to get some really good information that's going to help you and bless you about how weight gain relates to insulin resistance. Let's get right into it. So first of all, what is insulin resistance and how is it related to weight gain? Insulin resistance is a phenomena where your body, just like the words say, resists the insulin. And let me explain to you a little bit how it happens. So stay with me here. We eat foods, specifically carbohydrates and different types of sugars, right? Those sugars go into your blood. The little stars here represent the sugar. And those sugar, the job of the sugar is to go from your digestive system into your blood and from your blood to go into your cell. So they come over here to the cell. And in order for them, in order for the sugar to get into your cell, it needs a chaperone, a carrier. That chaperone is insulin. Okay? Now the insulin takes the sugar from the blood, takes its hand, carries it over to the cell, and there's a little doorway there. It's a little, we call it a receptor in science, but it's a doorway. We call it a GLUT4, G-L-U-T. It just stands for glucose transporter, number four. And that, that transporter, that doorway, again, the insulin carries the sugar over to the doorway. the doorway. The doorway opens up. When the insulin and the sugar come to the cell, the doorway opens up. It's kind of like a lock and key, right? So it comes over here. The doorway opens up. There's a, there's a bouncer in here. His name is Joey, and he's watching the doorway. And his job is to protect the inside of the cell because it's delicate. But he wants to have energy, and you want to have energy. This is how you make energy. So that insulin and sugar go into the cell, into a part of the cell called the, called the mitochondria. The mitochondria is like your power plant of your cell. So you make energy there, right? And we all like energy. That's a good thing. Now, what happens in weight gain and insulin resistance is the body gets too much sugar coming into it. The body has uh, too much sugar. So the body compensates for the excess sugar from your foods, and it creates more insulin. So now the sugar rises in your blood and the insulin goes up. So we, Joey likes a little bit of sugar and insulin because he needs energy. But what happens in insulin resistance, there's too much. There's a lot of sugar coming over here to the cell, a lot of sugar, and Joey gets overwhelmed until finally Joey says, stop, I've had enough. There's too much sugar, too much insulin. Don't come in the cell anymore. That's a big problem with weight gain. Because now the sugar can't get into the cell, where's the sugar going to go? Well, I'll tell you. It's going to go over to your liver. And your liver will convert that sugar into something called triglycerides. Triglycerides are fat in your blood. So let me be very clear about that. Your body will take extra blood sugar and turn it into triglycerides, which is fat because it can store it easier, because the cell is not absorbing it like it was. So the consequence of having too much glucose, too much sugar, and too much insulin is that now you're taking the extra insulin, extra sugar specifically, and turning it into fat. So, so it goes to your liver, your liver converts it into triglycerides. Now, triglycerides get turned into other substances in your liver. It's, one of them is called, actually sugar, I should say, it's turned into your liver into something called glycogen. Glycogen is just a storage form of sugar. Okay, So that the liver has closets where it stores the glycogen. But what happens is that sugar, that glycogen, fills up the liver, and this process takes some time. Uh, could be a few years, as a matter of fact. So the liver gets filled with all this excess glycogen, excess sugar, and, the, and those little closets in the liver, and now they're full. Now we got a big problem because now where are you going to put that extra sugar and all that insulin? The body doesn't want too much because you're going to become a diabetic. So your body wants to protect you become, from becoming a diabetic because the excess sugar is deadly to your body. So, but now its, it's storage areas in the liver are filled up. So what does the body do? It takes that extra glycogen okay, and turns it into triglycerides, and those triglycerides go over to your fat cell. So now you have fat cells. Now we're born with a certain amount of fat cells. That doesn't change. 
However, the size of the fat cell is what changes when it comes to being overweight. So the fat cell gets larger and larger and larger. So as the fat cell gets larger and larger and larger, so do you. And that's a big problem. And, and honestly, true, it's not just from an aesthetic, uh, aesthetic looking reason that you gain weight and it's overweight, but it's also a very, very important understanding of being overweight and your risk to disease goes way up. We know that, we know that people who are overweight or obese get a lot more problems with inflammation. They get a lot more problems with cancers. They get a lot more problems with high blood pressure. They get a lot more problems in many, many, even Alzheimer's and different diseases of that nature of the brain from being overweight. So, and that's a big problem. So this is a situation that goes on. Now, as the body gets more and more fat, that big, you, get, you get heavier, you start to gain weight. Um, Remember, we, we want to revert. So, how do you reverse that? One of the ways you can help is we got to reduce the amount of sugar in your body. But even before that, let me back up a little bit here because as that sugar comes over to your cell with the insulin, remember I told you that insulin and sugar attach together and they come to the shell. The insulin is a chaperone, it takes the sugar to the cell to get into the cell, the doorway, the GLUT4 uh, doorway. Now, that doorway because of all the sugar that's coming in that that receptor there that parking space what it actually does is it breaks down every time sugar comes into it and then it rebuilds itself the cell rebuilds the doorway but when there's too much sugar and too much insulin that breaking down process is kind of like remodeling a house there's too much old stuff that get broken down all the walls you rip out the old walls right and all the old beams and everything that's what happens in your cells. So now when you have too much insulin, you've got a lot of this debris around the cells. That's inflammation. That inflammation from all these different parts of the cell doorway that's broken down are, clog up the blood, it clogs up the cell, and the cell cannot burn the fat or burn the sugar for energy effectively. So if you're listening out there and you're suffering from being overweight or obesity, one of the biggest factors is getting that insulin under control and controlling the excess inflammation. And we're going to tell you exactly how to control the inflammation in our upcoming uh, webinar slash masterclass. It's going to be on Thursday, and it's going to be October the 24th at 7 p.m. on Zoom. So click the link and come join us. It's a free masterclass. Register, click the link and register for our free masterclass on insulin resistance. And we're going to be talking about how this process not only affects obesity and overweight and inflammation, but all these factors here relate to getting your insulin fixed and what you can do. Because insulin resistance is not only related to being overweight and obese. Insulin resistance relates to all these things and even relates to many, many other health conditions like high blood pressure. Again, I mentioned uh, pain and arthritis relate to insulin resistance. I mentioned uh, Alzheimer's and dementia are related to insulin resistance. So come learn more. This is Dr. Aaron Chadwick. Uh, I'm part of Your Nutrition Physicians. I've been practicing natural medicine for all, almost 35 years. We can help you get rid of your insulin resistance and fix your body. You just got to come. Come to our free masterclass, okay? God bless you guys. We'll see you there.